Hello everyone and welcome to Tipsy where we actually provide you with top predictions based on a lot of criteria. And you may actually wish to know how we actually get these predictions. Of course, we are now using our own best AI intelligent tool that actually analyzes matches based on a lot of criteria. After which we manually make these picks and go further to use third party sites such as SofaScore and Bet Explorer to make sure that we check for the form of the team, the home and away performance of that team, as well as top scorers. And if this actually meets our need, then we actually come to share them with you. We can therefore say these predictions are over 90% accurate and you can actually make your bet picks and analyze and include in your bet slip. Therefore, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for new post notifications and updates. So this is actually what we have for you today. Today, we actually have 10 matches to share with you and you can actually check our sure handpick 2 plus matches from the website link below this video description. So in our today's episode, the first game in our list is actually in the Latvia First Liga. It's actually a match between FK Rigas playing versus Salaspil FK. Here, our prediction as the first possibility is Rigas to win. The second possibility being the fact that an over 1.5 goal will occur in this match. And the third possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match. If we look at the standings here, we have Rigas as the fit in standing. They have actually played 21 games, scoring 59 goals and conceding 31 as compared to its opponent, Salah Spiel, that has actually played 21 games, scoring 31 goals and conceding 60. If we check at the form of these two teams, we are going to see that Rigas has the third form here, having played five games, scoring 20 goals and conserving six. As compared to its opponent, Salah Spiel, that has actually played five, scoring only two goals and conserving 13. If we look at the performance rate of Rigas here, we are going to see that Rigas have a very best performance here. You can see Rigas 4, Rigas 3, Rigas 7. Rigas 6, Rigas 3, Rigas 3, you can see they have a very high performance rate of scoring as compared to its opponent that has almost lost every game and draw most of its games. So of course, if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams, this same here, we are going to see that Rigas was actually away and it actually still beat Salaspi 4 is to 2. This is an over goal already, this same here. This time Rigas is coming home and is having a more better performance at home. Therefore, we are expecting Rigas to win as one of the possibility. The second possibility being the fact that an over 1.5 goal will occur in this match. And the third possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match. The next in our list is actually in the Sweden Division 1, Nora. It's actually a match between Hammarby playing versus uh, Torin Gruppen. Here, if we look at the standings, we are going to see that Hammarby actually... Is the eighth position here they have actually played 26 games scoring 42 goals and consuming 38 as compared to its opponent that is actually in the last of the table has actually played 26 games scoring 15 goals consuming 70 in other words team tgff is actually very very conceiving and if you look at the uh, hammer beast resort you can see hammer b here this same here they are actually good in performance you can see here Hammer B2, Hammer B3, Hammer B, you can see, you can see here, they have a very good performance rate. If we screw more down this table, you are going to see that the away team is actually, that team TGFF is very, very weak. They have actually, um, they are very, very uh, conceiving. That's why you can see here, they conceive a lot of goals. So we will look at the last match played between these two teams. Hammarby was actually away this same year, 2022. It actually ended at 0 to 1. This is actually when Hammarby was actually away. This time, Hammarby is coming home. And because Team DG actually performed it best when he was actually at home, it ended as 1 is to 0. This time, Hammarby is coming home. We are therefore expecting at least an over 1.5 goal in this game. The second possibility being the fact that Hammarby was actually winning this game. So we are expecting two possibilities here. One of the possibilities being the fact that an over 1.5 goal occur in this match. 
the second possibility being the fact that Hamabi is actually going to win. The next in our list is actually in the Switzerland Super League. Women is actually a match between FC Zurich playing versus football club Luzern. If we look here, you can see both of the two here, they have e uh, almost equal position in the league table. You can see Zurich women, they have actually played five games, scoring 22 goals, conceding nine, as compared to Luz uh, uh, Luzern women, which has actually played five, scoring 14 goals and conceding nine. If we look at the form here, you can see that both teams have good forms. And if we scroll down and see the performance rate of Zurich women, you can see they are very great here. You can see Zurich 5, Zurich 8, Zurich 2, Zurich 7. And the same Luzern women, you can see Luzern 5, Luzern 1, Luzern 2, Luzern 3, you can see it here. And if we try to check the head-to-head -head between these two teams, this same here, you are going to see that Zurich was home and it actually ended as 4 is to 0. So we are still actually expecting an over 1.5 goals in this game as one of the possibility. The second possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match. The next in our list is actually in the Norway Division 3, Group 3. It's actually a match between SK Brand playing versus uh, Sandnes UIF. Here we are actually expecting Brand to win as one of the possibility in this game. The second possibility being the fact that an over 1.5 goal will occur in this game. If we look at the standing here, we are going to see that Brand has the best standing. They have actually played 24 go uh, games, scoring 53 goals and conserving 27 as compared to its opponent that has actually played 24, scoring 61 goals and conserving 35. If we check the form of these two teams, we are going to see that both of the two teams have good forms. You can see Brand has played 5, scoring uh, 9 goals, conserving 7 as compared to its opponent, Sadness, you are, you are F. That has actually played five, scoring 19 goals, conceding 11. We will try to look at the head, the performance rate of this brand. They are good, as well as Sanes IF. You can see last match played between these two teams. This same here, brand was actually we actually ended at zero to three. This time, brand is coming home. We are actually actually expecting an over 1.5 to occur in this match as one of the possibility. And the second possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match. The next in our list is actually in the Obiliga Bremen. That's Germany Obiliga Bremen. It's actually a match between uh, ESC just Monday playing versus Bremen Von. Here, our prediction as one of the possibility is the fact that an over 1.5 goal occur in this match. Second possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match. If we look at the standings here, you are going to see that Jasmine then actually has played 8 games. They have actually scored 16 goals, conceding 13, as compared to its opponent that has actually played 8, scoring 12 goals, conceding 39. If we look at the form here, we are going to see that these teams actually, you can see their forms. Uh, Jasmine Day has actually played 5, scoring 7 goals, conceding 9, as compared to its opponent, Weda Bremen, that has actually played 5, scoring 9 goals and conceding 14. We will look at the performance rate, their average, and as compared to the away. We will look at the head to head between these two teams. You can see that this same year, 2022, they actually played and they actually ended as 2 is to 3. That's an over 2.5 and also as well an over 1.5 goals. We are still actually expecting an over 1.5 goal to occur in this game as one of the possibility. Second possibility being the fact that we are still expecting an over 2.5 goals. The next in our list is actually in the Netherlands, Eri DVC. Women is actually a match between Sport Club Hereven playing versus FC Twente. Here we are actually expecting an over 1.5 goal steal as the first of the possibility. Second possibility also being the fact that we are actually still expecting an over 2.5 goal here. If we scroll down to check for the standings, we are going to see that from the standing table, we have uh, Twente as the third position in the standing and Hereven as the ninth position. You can see Twente has actually played two games, scoring 11 goals. As compared to opponent Erevan that has actually played three, scoring two and conceding ten. If we look at the form of these teams, we are going to see that twenty still have the state form here, while Erevan the ninth. So if we look at the performance rate of these two teams, you can see that uh, Erevan actually is average, and they have actually lost two games as compared to twenty that has actually win. You can see the performance scoring rate of twenty. If we look at the head to head between these two teams, we are going to see that this same here, these are. 2022, we can see 2 is to 0, 
2022 you can see 3 to 0 we are still expecting an over 1.5 goal as one of the possibility in this match the next in our list is actually in the norway division 3 group 6 is actually a match between tromzo plane versus floya here we are actually still expecting an over 1.5 goals here and the second possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match so if we look at the standings let's go to the standing table we can see that floya has actually played 24 games scoring 57 goals and conceding 31 as compared to its opponent that has actually played 24 scoring 67 goals and conceding 43 if we look at the form of these two teams we are going to see that tromzo has actually played five games scoring 20 goals conceding six as compared to its opponent Floya that has actually played five, scoring eight goals, conceding five uh, goals. If we look at the uh, performance rate of Floya, you can see they are very good here. Um, also, if you look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams, we are going to see that this same year, 2022, Floya actually played with Tromzo and it actually ended as 4 is to 0. We are still actually expecting an over goal here in this game, as over 1.5 being the first possibility and also over 2.5 might also occur in this match as second possibility the next in our list is actually in the norway division 3 group 1 this time is actually between os tune football playing versus fk feeling Dalen. here we are still actually expecting an over goal here in this game if we look for the at the form table here you can see the standings we have ostf has actually played 22 uh, 24 games scoring 64 66 ga uh, goals and conceding 47 as compared to opponent that has actually played 24 scoring 45 goals and conceding 44 if we look at the form of these two teams you are going to see that they have uh this OS, os have good form they have actually played five games scoring 22 goals conceding 17 as compared to its opponent that has actually played five scoring six and conceding eight if we look at the performance rate of os they are good as compared to its uh, opponent so we we'll now check the head-to-head -head. we can see that this same year last match played actually ended as four is to two we are still actually expecting an over 1.5 goal as one of the possibility in this game second possibility being the fact that we are still uh, hoping for an over 2.5 goal to also occur in this match the next in our list is actually in the aruba division the honor is actually a match between SV Atletico Santa Fe playing versus SV Dukata, du, du, Dakota. Here we are actually expecting an over 1.5 goal as one of the possibilities in this game. And uh, the second possibility being the fact that an over 2.5 goal might also occur in this match. If we look at the standing here, you can see Dakota has actually played 4, scoring 18 goals, conceding 9 as compared to its opponent Santa Fe that has actually played 4 scoring six goals conceding nine if we look at the form here we are going to see that du uh, dakota has good form and if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams though we had we have no head-to-head -head, but dakota actually is good we are actually therefore expecting an over 1.5 goal here as one of the possibility second of the possibility being that we are also expecting an over 2.5 goal that might also occur in this game the next in our list is actually in the norway division three this time is group four where it's actually a match between uh vinjat fk plane versus fk manda kameraten here we are actually still expecting an over goal here in this match if we try to look at the standings of these uh two teams let's go to the standing table we are going to see that though these two teams are actually right down here we are going to see that they, they have a good performance rate of scoring like you can see, uh, Vinjat has actually played 24, scoring 52 goals, conceding 47, as compared to an opponent that has actually played 24, scoring 48 and conceding 56. And therefore, if we look at the form again, we are going to see that they have good form. You can see this has actually Vin, uh, Vinjat has actually played five, scoring 16 goals, conceding 10, as compared to an opponent that has actually played five, scoring eight, conceding 11. If we look at the head to head between these two teams, uh, we are going to see that this same here, most recent game, actually ended as 2 is to 2. We are still actually expecting an over 1.5 goal as the best possibility in this game. So you can actually check our short 2 plus handpick odds from the website link below this video description. Thank you very much for watching.
Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for new post notifications and updates. And see you again in our next episode. Bye-bye.